I tweeted a video at Thunderfoot earlier uh, as a an, an example of kind of how Sargon will take issues and like reframe them to kind of fit the narrative that he wants to push, right? Well, if this happened, it's because of feminism. You know, if this happened, it's because of feminism, right? It's a pretty common tactic that you see people on YouTube do, oftentimes because they tend to look at almost every issue through like a particular paradigm, right? This one issue that they want to push. For instance, Anita Sarkeesian does this quite often when she'll take, you know, random hom acts of homicide and she'll say, well, this is because of the patriarchy, right? Every single issue that ever occurs somehow fits into my, you know, narrative or, or agenda or whatnot. I think it's kind of interesting that Sargon made this video as a response to me because I think it showcases some of the classical um, kind of kind of uh, shortcomings that he has in terms of, you know, breaking down, dissecting arguments and then putting forth valid arguments. So let's just kind of we'll, we'll just kind of watch um, like a minute of this just to kind of understand what's going on. So the saltiest man in the universe is out in defense of Thunderfoot, which is nice. So what's he linked here? Let's have a look. And no, it's not all men who act this way, but you know what? It's way too f***ing many. Which, okay, it reminds me why I didn't like Lisa Green. Which is ironic considering that before your stupid social justice feminine bullshit, it didn't happen on this scale. It's crazy. This is a disease of the modern age. You are responsible for perpetuating it by disenfranchising these poor fucking guys who don't have any options left. When someone takes the option of absolute, insanely last resort, you have to wonder what kind of system is producing them. And I tell you what, Lacey, it is a fucking feminist system that's doing Okay, so I think at this point, what we're talking about here is Elliot Rogers, and like I said at the beginning. So Sargon is kind of making the claim. I think it's a fair summary to say that Sargon is making the claim that somehow feminism has created a system that is producing men that are homicidal maniacs, I guess, is the argument that Sargon is making. So we'll ignore the fact that men have historically always been typically the perpetuators of violence and, and whatever other bullshit. I don't, even, I don't even care about that, right? So what I would expect to see now in this three and a half minute video is Sargon is going to be making the argument that, well, actually, Stephen, feminism does produce a system of men that are more prone to being homicidal maniacs. So let, let's, so we don't have to actually watch the rest of this, but we'll listen to his next sentence. Hold on. So I stand by that and I'll show you why, Steve. Look at so he stands by that statement. Now he's going to show me why feminism produces a system of men that are more prone to being homicidal maniacs, right? Which is my summary of his argument, which, which I think is a fair summary. If you think it's unfair, feel free to let me know. So in the rest of the two, in the next two minutes of this video, these are the four articles that he discusses. Now, the interesting thing about these four articles is that none of them have anything to say about men committing homicide because of feminism. And none of them even go on to establish a link between it. Basically, we have one article is written by a, a researcher at some Catholic institution um, who says that, you know, feminism is fueling depression in men. Now, of course, we don't link to any stats or numbers here. It's all conjecture. The next thing we have is an article in The Telegraph that is saying that society is contributing to making people more depressed. I mean, I would believe that, you know, I don't, I don't understand how biology would lead people to become depressed. It seems to be a disease of the modern era, if you will. The um, next article is about unique problems that men face in society, right? Um, you know, disproportionate prison time, uh, it's problems with employment, you know, dying on the job, education, homelessness is a predominantly male problem, right? These are valid issues, of course. And then um, apparently there is a men's rights or, or a men's um, a men's international men's day or something was canceled at a university. And I did a quick search on this, and it looks like this did happen, which is, you know, pretty bad. So in looking at all four of these articles, so half of these, or at least this first article is kind of conjecture. Um, the second one talks about how society contributes to depression. And then the um, third one talks about unequal issues that men and women face. I don't disagree with any of these issues. And I don't think I've ever said that I disagree with any of these issues. So it's kind of funny that Sargon makes a two-minute video, one, failing to defend the point that he said he was going to defend, which is that feminism somehow creates systems that produce homicidal men. And then two, he would sit here and smugly articulate what's in these articles over the next two minutes over a bunch of issues that I never, ever disagree with. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I mean, this is kind of... um. I guess it's kind of par for the course at, at Sargon. I mean, I look forward to if he actually produces any type of um, any type of article, hopefully not from a tabloid, that, that actually links feminism to creating men that are more homicidal. I would be really interested in seeing that. I'm pretty sure homicide in the United States has fallen since the 1960s. I, I want to say, right, the peak of the 1960s was like the peak of like violent crime in the United States. And I'm pretty sure feminism has only gotten more popular since then. Um, as a separate aside... I've watched most of the Elliot Rogers videos. I think I want to say he released four or five long form ones on his YouTube and we watched all of them. And none of these videos have anything to do with feminism. The guy is very clearly mentally disturbed. 
um, p- possibly somewhere on the uh, ASD, autistic. Um, I don't want to say Asperger's because I, I, mean, I can't like make a diagnosis, but from the way that he talks, it's very clear that he has a severe mental disability. It doesn't really have anything to do with being disenfranchised by feminism or anything like that. It wouldn't surprise me if Sargon has never actually watched any of these videos because he doesn't seem to do any research or digging into the stuff that he talks about. But if you're ever interested, I would highly recommend watching the Elliot Rogers videos because I think it's, it's a very interesting insight into the mind of the guy. Um, maybe I shouldn't say that because now Sargon is going to make the claim that I'm defending Elliot Rogers or something. I'm, I'm not even sure. I guess I'll look forward to the next video on that. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later.